Okay, we are back, and it is time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. My name is Mark Zimmerman. This is ink that I just rolled out on a sheet of plexiglass. I'm going to drop a sheet of paper over that ink. And then I'm going to draw and rub on the back. And that transfers ink to the front and creates an ink transfer drawing. First thing I'm going to do is figure out where that ink is. It is inside a rectangle of tape and I can feel that tape. With my pen and drag it along the edge of that tape and that tells me where my um, Alrighty, I'm going to um, I'm gonna draw a little pelican, a little white pelican. Building an eye up in here. So the pressure of the pen on the back of the paper transfers ink to the front. Okay. Strange bird. <laughs> Maybe I should put the beak on because that seems to be the main feature here. Um, Hmm. That is quite a beak. Wow, well, and I don't know what this is. But there it is, so I'm going to draw it. Big bump on the beak. Huh. <laughs> I keep saying huh because I don't think I've ever seen a beak like this. I'm looking at a photograph um, and um, so I, I don't know anything about white pelicans which is what we're drawing here. But uh, I can look at a photograph and draw what I see. There's a really crazy structure here, and I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna grab a little bridge, which keeps, you'll notice that when I drive, I so far have kept my hand up in the air, and um, let's 
it's just a real bumpy little line and it's, I want a lot of control so I, I grab that bridge instead of just trying to hold my hand in the air I can actually brace it on something there we go that should probably do it for the bridge Hmm. Wow, what a neck too. little wing here I think just a tiny little bit of this his right wing shows there we go And he's got this wing here. Amazingly, look at that. Right across from the other wing. Who would have guessed? And the bottom of that wing comes way down in here. And we get a bunch of this. Got a shadow here. And then quite a bit of shadow here. Enough that I'm going to draw it. And then it the shadow is in the folds of the feathers, or in the feathers, so, then there's quite, I don't know if he's got a black edge on his wing, or if there's just a really, really dark shadow here, I can't really tell. It doesn't really matter whether or not I know what it is, I can just draw what I see. So I don't need to know what that is. I see it, I draw it. Simple stuff. There we are, white pelican. Uh, I don't think I really want to do too much in the background. I'm going to just put a little Softer, softer, softer pressure up there. A little more pressure here. So I'm transferring ink with the pressure, the pressure from my finger on the back of the paper. Let's take a peek, see what we got. That'll work. So I'm going to get the ink plate, the plate with the ink, the plexiglass with the ink on it. It's called a plate. Get that out of here and put a little color on him. You'll notice that he came out backwards, right? Um, so when you draw, do a transfer drawing, everything comes out backwards. Um, Let's kind of start this from, I'm going to get a board underneath here too. That lets me tip it as I, if I want to. Um, 
think we can start with some pretty simple stuff. This is pretty basic. Again, I'm looking at a picture, so now I'm looking at... Um, actually, you might as well look at the picture, too. There we go. Whoa! Bump the camera, that helps, huh? Here's what I'm looking at. You can see now I'm, I'm having to think a little bit backwards as I paint this, because... My pelican's looking the other direction. Whoa! That's a lot of paint, Mark, for a little bitty place. Still a lot of paint, Mark. Get rid of some paint. There we go. Kind of want that to dry pretty quickly. Come on, dry. Uh, while that's drying, I think I could come back in here and start painting some shadows on the bird. Huh. Rinse my brush. Bring those, sh soften the top edge of those shadows just a touch. Here's the shadows on the wing. Dark shadow right in here, so I put a little extra paint there. Rinse that brush again, soften those shadows. Have much in the way of shadows coming up the neck. And some shadows in here underneath here. And some shadows up in here, which I pretty well drew already. Huh? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do too much to those. And Not making huge different changes. These are it's white feathers, so they have pretty light bluish shadows on them. That let my yellow dry up a little bit. What color is that eye? Kind of an orange. Wow. Um, so I'm going to put a little orange in here. Not just where I see orange in the eye, but I see orange. here too. So that's why I wanted that killing a little time with the blue while I come back let that orange dry come back and add some sh or yellow dry and come back and add some orange shadows to it. Um, Okay. I need this really dry right here. Let's get a little dry brush. There we go. And boy, it's kind of a pinkish orange. So I'm going to come up in here with a little bit of orange, rinse my brush, come back with some red.
There's that kind of pinkish orange. That is one heck of a beak. It's the old rhyme, pelican, pelican, his beak can hold more than his bellican. There we go. If we switch to a bigger brush. And paint the background. That's where I'm going to want to be able to tip it. Uh, get a bigger brush going here. Uh, hmm. I think we're going with some indigo in the background. We'll just met, let the background be very, very plain. Maybe I need to stir my indigo though. I've got um, tube watercolors, but I've got them in solution in little cups. And um, they settle after a while, not surprisingly. So indigo is a beautiful kind of blue-violet. And I'm tipping this so that that indigo runs, letting gravity do some of the work for me. So it's running downhill. Let that indigo run right into this corner. Then I'll tip it this way. Let it run downhill that way. paint. Get in here over on the wide side. Get into that corner a little bit and then tip it this way. Gravity is amazing, huh? I'm going to do something here. I'm going to... Whoa! A little indigo right in the middle of his beak. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to jump across. I want those two lines of indigo to kind of end at the bottom at the same time. So... It's what's called a watercolor wash. And um, the key is to keep a little bit of a wet edge at the bottom where you get lap marks. So I want these two two washes to meet same time, same place same back channel. Just 
is keeping a wet edge moving down the paper. I might have enough indigo now that I can probably reach the bottom without adding anything to it. And it would be nice if I just ran out right as I got to that corner. There we go. One last little thing I was going to not forget. I'm going to paint this eye and come back with just a touch of indigo. There we go. Now he's got an eye that doesn't look like a zombie. Hmm. I think I need to do uh Oh, oh, and the phone's ringing. It scared me. We're going to let the, that go to the machine. I'm going to come back and put a little shadow right in here. A little bit of purple. And under the neck, too. Anywhere else? Nope, I don't think so. Okay, sign them in uh, pencil always, so here we go. Uh, we'll call this um, Pelican. And we'll sign it. Zimmerman and date it 2020. And there is Pelican. Hope you had fun watching. I had fun making it. Bye for now.